Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to resize videos for TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram and Facebook Reel using CapCut. Plus, I'm going to show you some other tricks that I use to make my videos appear good after carrying out such a resize. As you might know, all of those platforms use the same resolution, which is the 9 by 16 resolution. So let's say you shot your video in a landscape mode or you downloaded the video that you need to convert to portrait mode, which is the ideal mode for YouTube Shorts uh, and the likes. I'm going to show you how you can easily convert using CapCut. So I have this beautiful Paris video that I want to resize to fit my TikTok or YouTube Shorts. First of all, I'm going to want to head over to CapCut and import the video. Once you import the project, CapCut automatically picks the resolution of the video and makes it the resolution of your timeline. But we can easily change from this. So you're going to make sure you're not selecting the footage. And then you're going to scroll over to the option that says format. So we have different options. We have the 9 by 16, 16 by 9, uh, 1 by 1, the square format, which is ideal for Instagram and uh, Twitter. Uh, but we want the format that's good for YouTube Shorts and TikTok. So we're going to go with the 9 by 16, which is the ideal format. And I'm going to choose 9 by 16. So after choosing that format, I can easily resize the video um, to fit the frame. Now, as you can see, I'm resizing my video to fit the frame and it looks good. So I'm going to play to make sure that in every part of the video, my parrot fits into the frame. So it's looking good. It's looking good. It's looking good. Right now, the parrot is out of frame. So I'm going to scroll to the part the parrot went out of frame and I'm going to select that part and click on split. After clicking on split, I can easily change the size or position of that area. Uh, the reason you need to cut the clip is that if you don't cut the clip, whatever change you make is going to affect the entire video. Now, you can see that I have two parts in the video and I want to show the two of them. But as it appears, the frame can only fit in one parrot at a time, except I, of course, zoom out. Now, zooming out does something to my video it creates some black areas at the upper part and lower part of my video um well of course i need to zoom out so i can see my parrots both of my parrots so how can you make this more appealing to your eyes make sure you do not select any footage and then select the option that says canvas and click on color in this area you can easily choose whatever color you want for your videos so make sure you choose the color that you are going to use consistently for your YouTube channel or your shorts channel to just maintain that uniqueness. The sky blue color is okay for me. Click on the uh, check mark. So if I play this video again, you'll notice that it's showing blue areas instead of black areas around the video. So that's how I resize my videos on CapCut. Of course, there are some more advanced ways to do this. You could use keyframes instead but that's a whole new topic in the future we're going to learn how to use keyframes to be able to adjust your footage to move your footage around to track the subject so if you want to catch up with that lesson make sure to subscribe to this youtube channel if you enjoyed this video make sure to give me a thumbs up it helps with the algorithm i'll see you in the next one bye for now